Hey guys, I got both the Hobby Wings new big motors here, the 800 kV Easy Run 56 113 800 kV, and the slightly smaller Easy Run 56 87 1100 kV. So these things are both rated at 8S. I'm gonna take these things, weigh them, open them up, and measure them, and just see if they stack up to the good old Big Castle 2028. So let's just see how these motors stack up. First up on the scales is the castle. 1,241 grams, 43.8 ounces, two pounds, 11.8 ounces. Up next is the Hobbywing 800 kV motor. 1,224 grams, 43.2 ounces, 2 pounds, 11.2 ounces. A little, and we have the little motor of the bunch. 924 grams, 32.6 ounces, 2 pounds, 0.6 ounce. Yes. All right, we're gonna pull the fronts of the motors off and each one of them use a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench to remove the screws. The fronts are off and it's pretty obvious Hobby Wing wins in the bearing department here. Let's see. Get an estimate here. Uh, let's see if I can get that on there. Like about 18.69. Look at that. Just a rough guesstimate here, but there's a pretty big difference. And both the 800 and the 1100 both have the same size bearing. That's a win for Hobby Wing right there. Also would like to mention that they are actually rubber sealed, you know, so that'll help keep out the uh, debris. Now the Hobby Wing Axe 2300 KV motor, and I believe the lower KV motors are also rubber sealed bearings, which is actually pretty nice. To take the back off, the castle uses a 1.5 millimeter hex, and these actually have a nicer countersunk screw. They use a two millimeter hex. Now these also have temperature ports in the back, and uh, from what I've been told, the next version of the ESCs will actually have a port to actually work with that. So that'll actually be nice. With the backs off, you can see that the bearings are the same size as the fronts for the Hobby Wing. And the castle is also the same size as the front, which means Hobby Wings got the bearing win again, front and back. Now, let's take a look at something. Here are your heat sensors. It's just a very simple, you know, little sensor inside the can. Notice there are different part numbers for the 800 kV and the 1100 kV. So, not sure if uh, that means a whole lot, but I mean, the bearings have a different seal on them maybe this one's a higher speed seal than this one is you know 800 versus 1100 in the back of the motor you got some bushings there's a little spring piece in there as well on this one you have a much thinner bushing don't lose those if you ever happen to have to take apart your hobby wing motor see the castle it has one but it's kind of stuck up in there Okay, doing this part requires two hands because these are some seriously strong magnets. I want to attempt to measure the magnets. Ugh. This is the castle, by the way. This thing, it is uh, pretty strong. Let's see if I can get this as close as I can. Jeez Louise. That looks pretty good. Looking at about 69.6, 69.58 on the length of the actual magnets on the rotor. Now let's see if I can measure the uh, diameter. Wow. Good Lord. <laughs> All right, so looks like at its peak looks like about 
three on the diameter. Well, let's see here, let's make sure I get this right. I think I'm a little more square now, so. About 25.69, we'll go with that. Now, okay, with the 800, let's uh, see if I can get this to work. Pretty close right there. 65.16. Let's see. Yeah, this is a kind of a challenge. All right, we'll go to about 65.5. 65.51 on the length. Now let's see if I can get uh, this. Looks like about 25.84. See if I can get this in there. Pretty close, right about there, I'm thinking. So around uh Around 44.10 or so. Measuring these things is kind of a challenge here. Looks like about, uh, 25.91 on the diameter. Looking at the windings, there's your castle, there's your hobby wing 800 kV, and there's the 1100 kV. Now the wire looks to be larger diameter strands on the uh, hobby wing motors than on the castle. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing really. I am not a motor expert. Is there a winner? Not really. If you want to go more than 8S, Castle is your choice. It's a proven, reliable motor that can get the job done and keep its cool. You know, it's just that motor's been out for a while and we all know it pretty well. Now, if you're going to be bashing your X-Max around in muddy terrain, water, or around streams where you can actually crash a truck into water, then the Hobby Wing motors are your number one choice. Uh, the large rubber seal bearings are a major plus in my opinion. Uh, they just help to keep the contaminants out. The metal shielded bearings in the castle motor, you know, lets debris in. Now the castle has about a four millimeter longer rotor than the uh, 800 kV hobby wing. The windings, you know, I'm not too sure about the windings, but that's a huge part of the equation of any motor out there. So as far as overall torque, I don't really know which one makes the most torque. I mean. They're both insanely strong. You're not going to be lacking power. So basically, if you want to go above 8S, get the castle. If you're going to be uh, RCing in muddy, wet terrain, get the hobby wing. And don't discount the 1100. You, you can gear that one down just a little bit more than the 800. You know, like I was running a 25-35 ratio in that. And it was just as fast as the 800 with a 30-35. So, anyway, guys, hopefully you liked the video and there are links in the description. Thank you all for watching.